Hello, and welcome to Ice War. This is the first installment in our Setting a Button Email Server series of tutorials. Today we're going to cover the basics of installing a new mail server. Before we do anything, we need to make sure our system supports the mail server we're installing. IceWarp supports Windows XP and later. From the server side, we support Windows 2003 and later. On Linux, IceWarp supports Linux Red Hat Enterprise versions 5 and 6, as well as Linux CentOS, Debian, and Ubuntu. Before installation, you also want to make sure other mail applications and Microsoft services like IIS and Microsoft SMTP aren't running on your computer. IceWare will install, but it might not run properly if you have any of these programs running during installation. Antivirus software won't interfere with IceWare installation. Now that we've checked our system, let's install our mail server. First, you'll want to go to icewarp.com and download the most recent version of IceWare. Once this file is on your desktop, you'll notice a couple important pieces of information contained in the file name the version of IceWarp you've downloaded, and whether it's meant for a 32 or 64-bit system. Make sure this information matches up with your system. After clicking the desktop icon, the first prompt you'll receive will ask which language you prefer. Your selection only determines what language the installation prompts will be in. All languages are put into the actual installation and are available for you to use later. After you select your language and accept the IceWarp license agreement, You'll be asked to enter some basic company information. It's important to enter this information whether you've purchased an IceWorp license or are starting a trial. The next installation box will give you the choice between basic and advanced installation. Choose basic. Advanced installation will actually be phased out in the next version of IceWorp. IceWorp automatically installs everything it needs to run on your computer. IceWorp runs on SQLite by default, and basic installation automatically installs SQLite onto your computer. SQLite is recommended for small to medium sized businesses who don't have a large number of power email users. If you have more than 500 power users on your email network, it's recommended you install MySQL or Microsoft SQL. Switching from SQLite to something else can be easily done at any time once IceWarp is installed. If you need to switch from SQLite to something else, we recommend doing so after IceWarp installation. In this screen, you also must choose between entering your order number or getting a trial license. If you've already purchased IceWorp, you can enter your order number here. If you haven't purchased IceWorp yet, you can instantly get a trial license from this screen. Simply click the button and the IceWorp installation software will automatically generate a trial license for you. Even existing customers can get a trial should they need it. Regardless of which option you choose or even what license you've purchased, the full IceWorp server and its modules will be installed on your computer. The only difference between the paid version and an IceWorp trial is that the trial is only active for 30 days and only supports a certain number of users. Next, we'll choose which parts of IceWorp we want installed. Make sure services and core files is checked off, otherwise IceWorp won't function properly. If you'd like shortcuts to IceWorp, feel free to select the other options. The final dialog box before IceWorp installation begins lets us choose where IceWorp is installed. Please keep in mind the entire IceWorp server, including archiving, mailboxes, backups, and logs, will be installed where you specify. It's important to make sure you have adequate disk space as archives, mailboxes, backups, and logs will grow over time, and server migrations further down the road can be difficult and time-consuming. We recommend the device you install IceWorp on have at least 50 gigabytes of memory free. After IceWorp is installed, you can customize where archives, mailboxes, backups, and logs are stored. We recommend installing IceWorp to external storage other than your C drive, once again because of how quickly memory can be used up. Now IceWorp is ready to install. Installation usually takes about a minute. As part of the installation process, we have a small wizard that helps you do the first steps. All steps within the wizard can be reverted after installation, so if you're not sure, you can set some temporary values. This is the global host name of your server that will be used in communication with other servers. Here you can specify the name of the first domain that will be created automatically on the server. Here you can fill in the name of the first account with administrator rights. Please note there's a password policy applied to ensure your server is secure. Thanks for tuning in. In our next video, we'll take an in-depth look at creating domains in IceWorks.